Okay, King Cat Nation, we're back for day two of the Sweet 16 on Kerr Reservoir in Clarksville, Virginia. It's day two, our lead eight are out on the water. Conditions are similar to yesterday, but have improved somewhat. Temperatures are up a bit from the 30s into the mid 50s. Water temps are still in the mid 40s to upper 40s. Winds five to 10 miles an hour. The water clarity has certainly improved from yesterday and a lot of the debris has made its way on down river. It should be an exciting way in. You guys stay tuned for more King Cat action. Day two of the 2024 King Cat Sweet 16 on Kerr Reservoir. The morning has just begun as Ray and Niall Ferguson look forward to a great day of fishing. That door, that door right there. Boat going nowhere. The boat's going nowhere? What if you ain't holding the rope? What? Where are we going? I catch a big fish. Catch a big fish? Yeah. All righty. Got your snacks? Yep. While the Fergusons head toward their first spot of the day, Ron and Wanda Barner are already set up on top of theirs. Oh, we haven't caught any fish yet. Are we going to have to start calling them? Yeah, fishy, fishy. <laughs> We've been anchoring spot locking this morning. We thought we found some fish. We were trying to set up on them, fish them. Hadn't done any good. You know, it's about that one bite, basically. If you get one good fish, you know, you go a long ways. It is a family. It is a family. We started probably 12, 13 years ago. We've watched the tournament grow, and under Bob, it has just done so well. And at this stage in our life, we're too old to start another tournament trail. We've met so many people. You know, a lot of them come and go, but you still remember them. We've got a lot of good people we've met over the years. The first one we fished was at Sheffield, and we caught a 57-pounder, and I made the cover of magazine, so that made an old lady's day, you know. And here I am with this big fish, and it was just fun. She's very competitive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm out here to enjoy the fishing. She wants to win. She makes me get up and go. Whether he feels like it or not, fish till the last minute and I ain't, you know, <laughs> I'm not into that there. There's two things you don't want to do. Get between her and a pole when a line goes down, <laughs> or get between her and a piano. <laughs> well, I can play a boogie every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Team Barner is hopeful that their next spot will be more productive than this one. But they're not the only husband and wife team struggling with the early morning bite. Next up, We'll check in on crappie converts Joe and Jeanette Carter. Oh, oh, got a bite, got a bite. Get it, Joe Carter. Reel down. Missed him. Ah, uh, dang it. This one was 100 feet behind the boat. Can't do that to a fish. Come on now. We're trolling by. We're moving about 4.03, so we're barely, barely moving. Yeah, this is a sweet 16, which is pretty neat. We we annihilated our opponent yesterday in the first round by a flip of a coin. These are the three types of hooks we're using. That's our eight. And this is a 12. I prefer the 12. Not sure what that is, but we use it anyway. If y'all can see this, this is one of the ways I tie my knots. Stick it through the back end, start wrapping it around. I do about five or six, seven or eight times. And then I go back the other way with it. Same way a bunch of times, which I think locks them together. 
and I push it back through the, the front of the eye, pull it back. That's my modified version right there. I say it works, but I don't know if it works or not. We ain't caught a big enough fish to find out. Okay, I'm gonna leave y'all here to watch the lines. We'll go back in there and sit in the heat. Joe and Jeanette Carter have a lot of work to do if they want to advance to the next round. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right, we got our third fish on. Team break for you. Jake finally gonna catch one. We got Eric right below us. But that's cool. Hope they all catch fish. We got our three fish today. Now, gotta catch a couple big ones, but we'll be all right. With a limit in their live well, Team Brakefield is putting up quite a fight against their round two opponents, Eric and Mariah Jenkins. We got a limit. We're not at the limit we want. We ain't right home or winning big fish or nothing, but we ain't got no skunk award coming to us. Okay, gotta go, bud. Maybe it just seems big. Water makes things look that way. That'll probably be the most fun to catch you ever seen. Top class. On another part of the reservoir, Niall and Ray Ferguson stop to enjoy nature's beauty before reeling in and heading out. You throwed your chips out there so the birds could eat? Yes! More chips! You giving them more chips? Yes! All right, well, you better get your poles up because we got to move. All my chips! You give all your chips away? Yes! Hey, what a tech way! Three fish! A tech! Three fish! While Team Ferguson makes a move to their next spot, Anthony and Remy Brown do the same. All right, y'all, I've been dragging for the last two hours. We've had one bite. So I'm gonna head back down here to this bridge and see if I can get one to eat. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Next up, we'll check in on the three-man crew of Jack Davis, Justin Fraley, and Brian Reynolds. There's a lot less trash in the water. But it still looks like you who. With the two little fish we got in the box, we haven't put all the pieces of the puzzle yet. We might have found a quarter piece, but now we haven't seen the whole picture yet. The Sweet 16 is definitely a new number of actually fish in the bracket. I like it a lot. Instead of just fighting with everybody, you're fighting with one to see if you can outsmart the other guy. We actually met two years ago at a local tournament. He recognized us from being Brian's YouTube channel, and he calls me up. I'm going to McDonald's, and me and Brian haven't eaten it all day. Sitting there out in the boat, and he brings us about half a dozen cheeseburgers. That was uh, right there. Right there. Brian, what's good, man? Yeah, baby. Let's go, baby. On the water. What are you looking for? What's on your mind? What's on my mind? I hope a big fish bites. We got two little ones in the box. We're looking for a big one. I'd like to see tomorrow in the final four. Cap a year off for us. You never know when the big fish is going to bite. I'm hoping it's right now. Team Davis isn't alone in their hopes for better fish. McAnally and Blavault have their fingers crossed as well. We're fortunate enough to get by day one and win that bracket. And uh, today's battle we're doing against Ron and Wanda Barner. Nicest, best people in the world. Just love them to death. But sometimes you gotta go against your friends. If we gotta lose today, I can't think of better people I'd rather lose to, but we still gonna try to win. So. We'll see what happens. Looks like a fish. I think it is. All right, ready? Coming up. Fish in the boat, guys. Well, my man here done <laughs> caught another fish. That's four fish in two days. Big Doug got zero. But you know what? We a team. That's right. As long as we're in the first place at the end, I don't care. For our next stop, we'll check in on Team Myrick. So it's Friday down here at the Sweet 16, Big Fish Friday. We got knocked in a loser's bracket because <laughs> these fish right here went two yesterday, fishing for two grand for the biggest fish, and woke up this morning, said, let's not give up on them, let's come back, put our heads down. Seems to be working this morning. We decided, well, 
We're already in the loser's bracket. Let's go catch nothing again. <laughs> Here we are, same time, same place. Drew against Eric Jenkins and his wife. his wife. We felt like it was a pretty fair matchup. Nobody really wanted to lie or die or Mike Mitchell. <laughs> so we drew Eric and we thought we had a fighting chance. Eric Jenkins, if you're listening to this on this episode, we want a rematch. <laughs> Meanwhile, Team Jenkins hooks their best fish of the week so far. He just got it. He just got this come loose right there. It took all week to get that fish and then to lose it. Even though they'd lost their best fish of the week, the Jenkins move on to the final four, along with Team Davis, Team Ferguson, and Team McAnally. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with day three of the 2024 King Cat Sweet 16. All right, guys, we're here at Hardest today. We was fishing yesterday and had a little issue. The old trolling motor doesn't work too good with all this braid in it. So we got to get that cut off there this morning while they're making us some biscuits. Let me get to work on this and I'll see you on the water. While the Fergusons start off day three with a little breakfast and equipment upkeep, Team Davis runs into the Jenkins at the boat ramp. Well, it's like every time we come back from the community center or the VFW, it looks great and then you get out on it and it's like it rose from the dead. Right? Ah, uh, Harry, good luck, guys. Meanwhile, on Team McAnally's boat. Well, good morning. We're out here on the last day of the Sweet 16, about 32 degrees today. We're in the finals. We were fortunate enough to make it to the final four, so hopefully we're going to have a good day today and catch a lot of uh, fish. Maybe we're going to get a takedown in a few minutes and catch a big one. It's fish. We got the first fish in the boat. I think it's about a five pound channel, four and a half pound channel. Not a lot of fish, but it is fish. That's what we're looking for is to get on the board. Yes, sir. One fish is better than no fish. That's exactly that, right. That may put us in front of somebody right there. That could be a $2,000 fish. Somebody don't catch a fish today. On another part of the lake, Team Jenkins is set up and waiting for their first bite. I'm going to cause all them white birds to come over here and flock to you. Deer in the water. No, we ain't going to catch no fish here. Camera can see that a lot with your deer on there. It's usually a bad luck sign for us every time we have deer in the water. We never catch fish. I think it's holding true so far for today. For our next stop, we'll check and see how the early morning bite has been treating Niall and Ray Ferguson. All right, guys, it's day three. Yeah. And how many fish do we got, Niall? Day three, I had two fish already. Already. Morning, the, you morning, want the, the morning bite has been good to us. Ah, you can't see them because it's too muddy. Well, we'll show them at the way in, won't we? Yeah. What is it? There's one over there. Maybe. Two times. Okay, so we gotta watch. Next up, the team that secured the big fish trophy on day two, Team Myrick. Today we had changed a single thing. We're doing the exact same thing we did yesterday, and we're just gonna keep our nose to the grass and keep on digging. That's all we can do. At some point, they've got a chomp. Hopefully, we'll be here when the chomp hits. Managed to pick up a couple of small overs, nothing to write home and brag about. When we started this deal, our goal was to make the Sweet 16, and we accomplished that. I thank these two guys for involving me. I thank King Cat for putting on a, an awesome trail, and I thank people that's wanting to catch fish should come out and give King Cat a check. 
uh, fortunate enough that we ended up getting big fish. I told Bob when I seen them plaques, I said, I don't care if we win any money, I want one of them plaques. What's it gonna cost to get one that says skunk pot made up on the bottom? <laughs> it ain't over till it's over. We appreciate the pull, we'll, we'll try and make it happen. We'll probably let you down easy. <laughs> All right, well, we're back here again. We've moved up into a creek. Uh, wind was pretty bad out there on the main river, so we're going to try some shallow water, see what happens. It is warmer water, so. Okay, you ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How you doing? 20 pounds. Is that close? He's close yeah. to that yesterday. 34, right about 34 inches. Longest line we've got out. Got a little fish on it. Channel? Yeah. Got the net now. Need the camera. No, 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 don't worry about the camera. Help me with the net. We got him, baby. Thank you. Lay it on me, brother. What is it? <laughs> this is what, number three, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. Man. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the final weigh-in. All right, guys, we're back. It's day three, King Cat Sweet 16, Kerr Reservoir, Clarksville, Virginia. Yes, championship. the championship day. Yeah. This is going to determine our winner. Right. Four boats competing to be the best for the 2023 season. I think we're going to be surprised at some of the weights that's coming in today. I think some people struggled, some people didn't, and uh, it's going to be good to watch. All right, our next team's coming up. Ron and Wanda's weight yesterday was uh, 1.94 pounds. You have a little bit of a hill to climb. Well, we got some splash going on in there. You, you got to watch her, Bob. Yeah, she's splashing her body. What's she doing? Washing she got bubbler hands. in there. That's Washing doing that. her hands. Can't tell if she's messing with me or not, Bob. Oh, look at there. Woo nice fish. Nice fish. You know how many pictures there are. Wanda holding a giant catfish up. 34.96. All right. That's our current big fish. Good job. That's the only one you got there? today. Oh, All right, man, we appreciate you guys. Love Good your fish. smile. See you next time on the trail. All right, this is Anthony Brown, Jason Carter. Jason had to work this week. He was there today. Question is, did Jason bring you any good luck? If there's one man, and they all sacrifice, but this guy has really, really uh, put a lot of time and energy into it. Blood, sweat, beers. Nice. All right. Better day, okay. Something better than nothing, right? Those guys yesterday are going to be hard to catch up with, Bob. Yep, it sure is. Go to weight, 40.72. That's a good job, fellas. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you, fellas. Talk to you soon. Here to come. Right now, they got 69.12 for day two. You want to talk? He wants to talk. Yep. All right, Donnie, talk to us. We've actually done better every day that we fish. We've been here about 10 days, and we were going to get out there today and get after it. And? Eight hours later, we didn't get a bite. Oh, my goodness. All right, hey. Great smile, and uh, we appreciate your sportsmanship for sure. Well, here they are, and no one's caught them. And I've heard that if you want pictures, you need to get your cameras out. What we've heard is this could be the biggest bag of the whole weekend. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, man, look at there. Good Keith, you job, need to be smiling you're bigger than you're smiling right now, man. Holy cow. What a great day. Here we are, big fish. Boy, big fish in the tourney, 65.69. So they won big fish yesterday. They also going to get the plaque today. A strong showing, guys. Here we go. Biggest weight of the tournament. 129.07. Way to go, guys. Two-day total. 243.53. This is your number five spot. They have drug and done what they needed to do. They're, they're just great. We're going to reset up for the top four. Congratulations, guys. First team's coming up to the stage. Doug McAnally, Mark Clavel. Oh, get on up here. All right, so today is a one-day wait for these top four. This is a three-fish limit. All right, let's see what our total is going to be. it's not what you guys were hoping for size-wise. 24.50. Want to congratulate you. You guys are great sportsmen, and uh, let's see where we finish off at, okay? All right, who's our next team that's coming up? We got Ray and Niles Ferguson. All right. What is our number they've got to be? 
24.50. They're going to do it with They're going to do it with fish. fish. What a fish. They're going to do it with one here. fish. We know that you made a plan today. Right now they're in first. 63.67, our new leader of the Sweet 16 Final Four, Ray and Niles Ferguson. How I beat him. All right. All you right. Beat. Thank you, now. All right. And our next team that's coming in. Jack Davis, Ryan Reynolds, and Justin Fraley. We talked to these guys yesterday. We didn't find them today on the water. You got one fish. One fish. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 778. Yeah. All right. Congratulations. You made the top four of the Sweet 16. And uh, we'll talk to you guys here in a little bit, all right? All right. Good Thank job, you. Fellas. All right, Bob. Here we are to the last one. Yes, is Eric and Mariah Jenkins. They put together a good day yesterday. 63-67. That's what they got to beat. It well, was a tough, uh, tough, that, tough day. Was a tough day. Well, the Ten. difference between three pounds... 10.42. Is two grand. Woo! You're going to get $4,000. First place, Sweet 16, Clarksville, Virginia, bringing home $8,000. Ray Ferguson and Niles Ferguson. I think this is our youngest King Cat champion ever right here. I'm serious. Such a special young man's got an amazing dad to bring him across the country like he does fishing. And Ray, it was worth $8,000 today, but so much more than that because of this little man and the good Lord riding in the boat with you. It had to be one amazing day. There ain't no way you can put it into words. To be here today, you know, I got to thank everybody here. We were just lucky enough to get, a, get the right fish. Catfish Nation, listen up. These right here is your 2024 Sweet 16 winners. We are so thrilled that we get to do what we get to do, and we just thank everybody, and uh, we're just getting started.